Welcome to another video. My name is Raul and I'll be guiding you. Let's get started in creating PayPal sandbox accounts. Log into your PayPal developer portal at developer.paypal.com. You can log in with your production PayPal account or you can create a PayPal developer account to log in. To do this, please review our other videos that show you how to create a developer account. Once you log in, we can hover over the testing tools option in the menu and click on sandbox accounts. Here we can click on create account. You'll be presented with a short dialog to create either a personal or business account. Let's start with the business account while leaving the default country as United States and click on create. Here we see the email that was generated for us for this business sandbox account. Let's create a personal account now. Create account, personal, leave the country as is, create. Just like that, we have this other email that was generated by PayPal for a personal sandbox account. Now, technically we can finish right here. We've created both a personal and business account, but let's create one more business account, but this time with our own customized email address, as well as more control over other information during the creation process. So click on create account. Now click on the create custom account link. Again, here we can pick which country this PayPal account can be registered in. Let's change this to business type. Here you can place your own business email, set your own password, any first name, last name. I like to add seller to identify this easier when I log in. We can decide how much funds to add to the balance. So, you know, any large number here. I'll leave some defaults just as they are. Bank verified, payment card. Here I'll write a note such as use for X or so-and-so website tests, for an example. And that's it. Create account. Here we see our new sandbox account that has more customizations based on the information that we provided it. Let's take a look at the options for each account. Click on the ellipsis to the far right. We have a view slash edit, duplicate account, view and notifications, and delete. So real quick, we can click on duplicate account and it will simply leave most presets just as you had it on this account and allow you to adjust the basics here, such as new name if you want, new password. I'll click on cancel for this one, go back to the previous page. Let's click on the ellipsis one more time. The view notifications, that'll show you the emails or notifications that PayPal has sent to this account. Since Sandbox doesn't really send real emails, you'll have to view them here, like for transaction receipts and such. And delete will completely remove your Sandbox account. So now let's go into the option that you'll probably use the most, view slash edit. Go ahead and click there. Here you can see all details associated with this Sandbox account. You have your generated email here that you'll use to log into the PayPal dashboard or to make sandbox purchases. You can click on change password, save your own. You have your account ID. For testing, you may find that you have to upgrade your account to PayPal Pro. Let's click here and then click enable. And that should upgrade the sandbox account to PayPal Pro account. Let's scroll up. We have an API credentials tab for easy access to the MVP SOAP credentials for this sandbox account. The username, password, and signature. That way you don't have to log in to the sandbox account and search for it. And actually, I'll take you through how to log in in a brief moment, but let's finish off these sections. So funding. Here you have your financial info, and you may also use this as a guest checkout if you need to. Settings. A few more options here. You can also move payments into review, but also if you want to follow our negative testing docs with specific values that that trigger certain responses, then you need to enable this first and enabling PayPal credit. Let's close this. Let's take a look at the details of our Sandbox PayPal account this time to see the difference. It's very similar, just not catered to a business. Click on the ellipsis, view slash edit. Here we have our email and password once again. You can use the default password given or you can change it here if you wish. Just click here and add your password and click save. I'll cancel for now. The same info below. Let's click on funding. Same info here, just the financials. Let's click on settings and you can also set review payments option. Now, let me go back to profile and I'll copy this email. Earlier, I mentioned that you can actually log in with the Sandbox accounts to PayPal Sandbox dashboard as well. That's where you could use the dashboard as if it was a production account, but using your Sandbox emails, it won't actually move any real money or affect any real accounts. Let's do that now. I'll open a new tab and navigate to sandbox.paypal.com. As you can see, this looks like you're on the real PayPal homepage, but it's the sandbox world that you're really looking at. So click on login. I've already copied the email and we can paste it here. Now I'll go back to the profile section, copy the password, paste it here and log in. This is what the personal PayPal sandbox account looks like. It should look virtually the same as the real personal PayPal account, but it's just a playground to test anything you need to test out. 
I'm clicking on random options here so you can see for the most part it's all functional except it won't move any real money around. Now let's log out and try logging into the business account. So I'll click on login one more time and let me go back here and exit this modal and this time I'll use the custom email that I provided. So copy this, paste it here and I was the one who created this password so I'll type that here and you to put the one that you created and log in. And here is the merchant view when they log into PayPal. We see all these titles and the widgets here, they were not in the personal account. If I hover over the name that I assigned it at the top right, I can click on account settings, for example. Immediately I see this API access. Let me click here. The process that I'm doing now is the process that a merchant would normally go through to obtain their real credentials for implementing their integration in their code. And here I see username, password, and signature here. But remember in the Sandbox Developer Dashboard details of any business account, you can grab those in the API Credentials tab as a shortcut. We have now successfully created PayPal Sandbox accounts.